thanks for sending me another portion of new CSGO tricks and as a tradition, in the end I will give away one skin to one of the players who sent me their idea plus made it into this video. We're gonna start with a magic molotov starting from second middle on top of this certain stone position, aim at this prick curve like shown, then a jump throw, Molotov will fly away like Lenny Kravitz, touches a magical skybox mid-air so it won't explode in the air and finally goes down in front of a CT arch. It can deny quick rotations or help you to clear out this long corner that loads of defenders like to use. Super general. If anyone hides in this overpass long corner, then this situational boost could help you to spot them. You can't see over the wall even when you jump, but since this wall is a bit bugged, it's invisible from your end and you can easily see the corner area through the wall. From an enemy side though, you could only see a blank stone wall. Also, keep in mind that you can't wall bank here, you can just potentially get the info and be more prepared for an upcoming duel. We're gonna continue from overpass long area, here's another magic molotov, go hug this stone pillar like you would hug your best friend after they finally installed CSGO, aim at this corner, then run and jump throw before you'd hit this line, it goes something like this and it'll give you a long entrance molly that could slow enemies down a bit or just fool them that you are close, although you can throw the molotov and immediately rotate away nuke and the wall bank executed with face it level 10s from outside lobby to ramp. Feel free to mimic it and destroy your opponents who like to stay at this common behind the box position. If you have AWP and somehow end up in underpass, here's an easy to remember wall bank lineup for you. Boom and right side of the window guys will all of a sudden be out from the round, at least as sudden as CSGO lost Markolov. If you hear this, we still miss you. Overpass with a very unique early nade idea, it requires a run boost which you should be able to get consistent at with a fair amount of practice. Steven said that if performed correctly, this could do between 10 to 40 damage based on CT spawns and very often you will be hitting at least one player with this one. Of course, you can use the same idea late slash mid round and why not to throw a molotov like that just to delay opponent's rotations. Next up, if you're a new garage player, let's say they do the wall of smokes here or just smoke off garage, you can still fight back with this simple yet potentially useful wall bank. You could tag or even eliminate anyone trying to cross to secret from behind the red box route, just keep in mind to get your angle game right and shoot at the very left, because if you don't and aim rather right, none of your bullets will make their way behind the red, since there's a small e box blocking the way here, so make sure to understand the angle game and enjoy the wall bank that you could nicely execute with multiple different weapons. Here's a simple flash line on Ancient that all A players should be aware about and since many of you probably knew this, I felt an urge to provide something more so I figured out this 8 ton smoke from city side, a corner position, aim a bit right from the center of this tree gap, then a casual left leg throw, because of a SpaceX trajectory, smoke takes some time to land but afterwards can nicely be used to retake 8 tons or just win some extra time for your team. Vertigo A site, where if you would go into this corner, aim like shown on the wood textures, then move straight back without moving your crosshair, plus a left click throw, you would achieve an awesome one way smoke that leaves no chances for enemy side to really push through, as their lower body would be so exposed and they can't see you at all. Simple as that. Now line yourself up in the middle of this right window, aim like shown at the top of the third balcony post from the left. Then run and jump throw before you would hit the balcony itself. Smoke has a smooth line, bounces off from the city spawns building and finally goes into city side of library. Why not to use it in your next B split as it could be great support for the guys going B through the long. Super general. I just love to see those proof clips where our hippie ideas do some work in officials. Here's sop lunch with an edge position on Mirage B bomb site. Oh what? what? That's a sish. Wait, I what? didn't know that. <laughs> why, why can you stand there? Alright, I wanna see this, I wanna see this. 3 versus 5, and this position is retarded. Alright, that's One, a big two. glitch. No idea about the tick rate here, but as you can see, it's possible to throw a stylish palm bounce window smoke on Dust2B bombsite. 
if your teammate on A would throw a similar loosey goosey smoke and you are nearby garage, you could see anyone peeking out on silo before they should see you. Of course, they shouldn't even peek out when they see this weird smoke being executed, but if they do, you surely have an advantage here. Be innovative and keep surprising your opponents. They love it. Alright, if you know someone is hiding behind this left stone wall, go hack this post with a similar positioning. Take the height from the mark and aim like shown. Plus a left click throw. Once again, Molotov does some magic as it has a very long air time and finally baits out anyone camping in this totally unstylish place for their life. That's gonna be an awful situation for them to survive in and we all wish them the very best luck. Jungle with a nice little self pop flash idea here. Next up, unique nade line on Inferno that allows you to throw nades to short from bottom middle, climb on the very edge here, then look at this mark on the wall, and run plus jump throw. With a Molotov, it's gonna be your casual short fire that also gets the very corner under the roof, as it's usually thrown from top middle. With this way, you can throw it way closer to banana for potential fakes, or why not to throw a flash like that to fake your top mid presence and hopefully trick your enemy a bit. As you can see, this roof bounce is looking at least as stylish as Brigitte Bardot. Welcome to the thumbnail trick. Like in previous Your CSGO Tricks episode, we have an insane boost position sent in by the very same guy. This time the outcome is even higher and it takes place on new T side roof. As you can see, it takes three guys in total and with this amazing pumping slash boosting method, they are able to get the top guy to an extra high place with an extraordinary view, which makes them to be able to see into A and much more. That's very super general. Ramp. If you get stuck nearby this door, aim like shown, kinda in the middle of the square at the ceiling. Plus a left click throw. You'd set up a fire that reveals plus damages anyone who is in the very corner of the ramp boost spot. Very hippie, very situational. Alright, vertigo. If you would throw your molly here on the ground, it doesn't spread, plus hurt the ladder room at all. But if you do it like that, you could get the flames going into ladder room as well. And remember to, in case of a real fire, exit your building before tweeting about it. Next up, there's a possibility to throw a fake molotov that doesn't spread as much into Inferno's library. I came up with a quick little lineup as well. Hug the doorway and make sure to see only a small stripe of the light. Then take a height from the painting a bit below the black stop part and aim in the middle of the wall. Then a left click throw, a molly should pop inside the shelf making it not spread that much which allows you to sneak through and maybe surprise someone who is not ready for you in CT spawn. Go crouch in the mini pit corner, aim like shown at this curve and just a left click throw which gives you a strong smoke that you plus your teammates can nicely use as a one way from multiple angles. It works from the default wall spot too but why not to just stay close to mini pit as here you can of course see the opponents first plus the wall in front of you does a great job covering your player model. Most likely that's why author Chanas called this smoke an overpowered one way smoke. If there's a similar window smoke down at B dust 2, you can see if anyone is inside it simply by shooting at the background like that. Somehow it works better from a longer distance and those particles would reveal anyone hiding in or walking through the smoke. Use this knowledge well with care. Alright, sometimes even nonsense two-man towers work like charm. We all know your life was missing exactly this one way smoke on Vertigo. The lineup looks as specific as Lady Gaga's meat dress back in 2010. Although I managed to do it 5 out of 5 times myself without any errors so it can't be that pixel perfect. But what it does is that it makes the smoke land under the construction, giving you a chance to get sneaky if you would stay crouched and peek out B. It's not necessarily always a one way, but depending on angles, it surely gives you a better chance to go out B instead of going out without any utility AK naked. And keep in mind that smokes are the only tools in CSGO that could save you from molotovs, so if you don't want to be slowed down there, it's surely a cool smoke to potentially support your next B split with. 
Next up, Mirage B bomb site with an interesting after plant situation. One way smoke, just climb those boxes. Make sure you're back against this site, then aim a bit above the ground line and a casual left click throw. If executed correctly, it leaves you some vision to work with here, yet hides you pretty well. Also, the position itself isn't that common and therefore you should be pretty safe from random smoke guest bangs. Feel free to use it to tinder surprise your enemies in your future matches. Before we continue, I have to announce that today's little skin award goes to Repes for extra awesomeness plus maximum height and we move on with an amazing smoke for hut that you can throw from inside vents, a simple position with a very easy on the cross aiming spot, then just a jump throw and on 128 tick servers it'll give you plus your team a sneaky hut entrance smoke that could also work as a little one way for you, enjoy and feel free to watch different CSGO trick videos on my channel because there are many 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 of them, also consider subscribing because there's no other CSGO channel with such an amazing amazing, extraordinary, cool 